welcome back to the channel folks uh, let me start out first by saying I hope everybody's been staying safe and healthy during the corona crap uh, and all the other stuff going on in our lives remember y'all need to love one another I'm just telling you united we stand remember that divided we will fall and that's what they want all right enough about that okay sorry I've been away a little while, even pulled my videos because I was going to end the channel because it became a lot to keep doing. Probably shouldn't have pulled my videos down. I should have left them there. So I'll slowly upload them. If I ever need a break again where I want to take three weeks off or whatever, the videos will stay there and that'll be that. So what have I got done while I was away? Well, away from YouTube, you know. Uh, Pulled the transmission out earlier, that's right. You've seen that video, I gotta put it back up. I stripped the transmission all down, wire wheeled the crap out of it. I didn't paint it yet because I gotta pull the drive sills out, the uh, axle sills. I gotta change them, I already got it, so I'll do a film on that tomorrow or something. This I'm also filming, I'll be sitting there doing it. Uh, when I turned the transmission on its side, it started leaking a little bit. So I also change them now and then fill it up and drive down the road and say something's leaking. So uh did a rust-oleum paint job. Yeah, I know. A lot of you are going, why didn't you use base coat, clear coat? Why didn't you use single stage? I painted my car for $54. Now, my buddy did the spray, okay? Because I've painted a lot of Harleys and stuff back in the day, but I never, uh, never shot a big car. My compressor wasn't big enough, so Gary, I won't say his last name, he was nice enough to come here. He brought his compressor over. We got all set up and he busted ass with me, uh, sanding, and while well, there was no body work to do, it's from Arizona, so it wasn't a lot to do there. Did uh, a lot of sanding, minor fillings, you know, stuff like that, nothing major. But uh, after I show you the car, walk around it, I'll show you the mix ratio that I did. Does it mean I'm right? I don't know. I mean, I see a lot of Rust Oleum videos all over the internet, and some of them just aren't right, but it don't make me a know-it-all. I just, I'm not sure if I'm right, but it come out perfect. It's just the way I did it, you know. Like back in the day, go to the bar, get drunk, carry on, get into fights. My buddies would always say, man, you ain't right. Maybe I'm not right. <laughs> Let's take a look. Alright, there it is. Now, we distressed some of it. Is that the word I'm looking for? I wanted to give it a mild patina. Nothing crazy, but mild patina. That's what I wanted. Some of, you, some of you don't like it, it's okay. It's not for everybody. But I wanted a patina look. That's just the look I was after, you know. But it come out really, really good. I don't know if with the camera you can see that it's like glass. Like glass. I'll take you around it here. There's the roof. Well, you know, Sunder's not in yet. But as you can see, that's a Rust Oleum paint shop. I wish I could get a really good angle, but I can't. But you can see it's shining. I'll give you the mix ratio when I'm done here. bit of distress there. Is that the right word? Somebody help me out here. A little bit here. Just did it in various spots, you know. It up here very lightly. Looks better in person. It honestly does. I'm not good though. Really, really good. Really happy. I mean, 54 bucks, and I'm bragging about that price. Oh, that's a bug. But I can't complain. I was trying to save a little money. I figured if it didn't work out, sand it all back down and go buy some base coat clear. But I'm happy with it. I really am. I think it come out good. And he had to bring his big compressor over, so that helped me, you know. 
bit uh, what this consisted of is basically what this can wow, I need to shave it looked like a bum is rust-oleum I'll put a little chart up at the end of me talking here rust-oleum eight ounces mineral spirits six ounces hardener two ounces and that's the mix they come out really really good as you can see I mean this baby is gleaming I'm really really happy with it but I'll put a picture up uh, I'll make a picture up of the mix and you know if somebody wants to try it like I said the worst case is you sand it back down because that's what we were gonna do you know but it actually come out really really good uh, don't ever be ashamed to try something you know and I'm sure a lot of people right now rolling their eyes going why the hell did you use that for well because I wanted to you know I'm dumping more money into this car than anything and that's my choice you know the suspension and the interior and the motor and I figured if I could cut a little corner if I didn't like it sand it off but it actually come out really good I'm really happy with this so I wanted to welcome everybody back thank you for the subscribers that stayed here I think there's like 520 or something I can't remember but uh, stay tuned for some more uh, here's the transmission that's the transmission it was caked I don't know 40 years of stuff on it I still got to do a couple of the edges right there but I'm gonna pull the axle seals out and change them because it was leaking a little bit when I turned it on its side so now's the time to do it but I'll go ahead and video that tomorrow so you'll see it in a couple days really and uh, change the axle seals we'll paint it and then I'm gonna take some sandpaper steel wool and run it over the ribs so that they're silver so that's the deal okay so that's it that was the rust-oleum paint job I'll pick up on filming now and stuff I'm doing. I could have never put the camera in the garage anyhow while we were spraying because that would have been bad, you know. Although I think I got something on my camera lens when I looked earlier. But anyhow, uh, that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. I got a lot of parts sitting here. I got the new turn signals, but I bought clear lenses, new headlight pocket assemblies, new headlight rings, light housings, like everything's new. Uh, new lenses for back everything so I'll be putting that stuff on I'll film it and I'll speed up the films when I'm doing it so you don't sit there and watch me turn all the screws so thanks for being here sorry I left you guys briefly uh, I'll see you soon spread the channel around a little bit and enjoy everybody stay safe behave yourself take care